Elon, uh, great job with everything that you're doing. Thros Gerber from Gerber Kawasaki. Uh, your team's amazing. What I'm most curious about, these innovations are incredible, but on my drive up here, fully on autopilot for 400 miles, the entire state is brown, and this is ultimately about climate. Has there been some analysis done if all these things are achieved? What will its direct impact be on climate? Uh, well, I mean, the, the, I think it will have a very significant impact because it will stop the, um, the CO2 PPM from growing uh, as it is every year. Um, and, I, I mean, I should say, like, you know, um, you know, I try to view the, the whole climate thing, for, you know, as a science question as much as possible. You know, science, you always question your hypothesis. Is it true? Is it not true? Or assign a probability to a given hypothesis. And I should say that my... My original interest in electric vehicles uh, predates the climate issue. Um, like just when I was in high school, it was like I thought, man, if, if we don't figure out electric cars, the whole economy is going to collapse when we run out of oil. So it's like we better figure out electric cars uh, and sustainable energy or civilization is going to crumble. Um, and then uh, it was only kind of later that the uh, significance of the, the climate risk uh, became apparent. Um, and... Uh, we're also able, uh, using fracking and other types of technology, to access a lot more uh, fossil fuels than previously thought, um, which is, you know, uh, helpful for lowering the cost of gasoline, but it's pretty bad for uh, the total uh, tonnage of CO2 that you could put in the atmosphere. It's now greatly beyond what pe people previously thought. So, um, but, but this is, you know, as we were just going through in this presentation, it's like it is a absolutely monumental task to accelerate uh, the advent of sustainable energy. Uh, I mean, the entire global economy is still, you know, n more than 99% dependent on, or quote, roughly 99% dependent on fossil fuels. Um, so although electric cars kind of get a lot of press right now, they, they, they're still, and, and, and there's still very few, as a percentage of the total global fleet is practically nothing. It's, I would say, yes, less than 1% of the global fleet is electric right now. Um, you know, because of two billion cars and trucks and whatnot in use. So, so there's a massive uh, amount of work ahead, just, in, just insane, like hard to comprehend how much work is ahead to uh, get the new vehicle production to be sustainable, uh, to um, massively increase the amount of stationary storage, which is critical because uh, renewable energy is, is intermittent. Uh, wind and solar is, is intermittent. Sometimes the wind doesn't blow, and, some, and this obviously the sun doesn't shine at night. So... You, you've got to have batteries, um, a massive, massive number of batteries. So, it's yeah, it's hard to measure in direct impact, but it's it's an experiment that we shouldn't be performing, and the sooner we can sort yeah. of end the experiment, the sooner we can kind of move on in a fully sustainable way that is actually lower cost. I mean, I think the thing that people yeah. haven't fully internalized is once we do get to the 25k car, the ownership cost of that car is incredibly lower than the prior car, and then. On the solar side and wind, with the cost of solar and wind coming down and with batteries coming down w with them, the actual cost of energy on the grid is going down. So we're, we're sort of moving to our, towards a sustainable lower cost future. So it, it, there's not really a sacrifice. Yeah, that's true. It, it is a false dichotomy to say that it's like it's either prosperity or sustainability. Uh, this is often used you know, buy oil and gas to say like, oh, well, do you want people to lose their jobs? Do you want to have, do you want lower people's standards, standards of living? Do you want to, you know, make all these economic sacrifices uh, really in, in order to have sustainability? And the reality, as Drew was saying, uh, is that uh, a sustainable energy is going to be lower cost, not higher cost than uh, fossil fuels.